Hey everybody, it's Josie and Cheyenne. Welcome back to Cedar Creek Homestead. Well, we're uh, counting down the days till Christmas. We've got another week to go and we're making treats and appetizers and things getting ready for the different parties and activities that we have. And one of the things we're going to make today is we're going to pull away for, I've been showing you some sweets and we're going to go back to the sweets for, for some party ideas. But um, today we're going to show you something savory. Uh, a snacky appetizer that people enjoy a little bit spicy not too bad uh, but a little bit spicy that people can enjoy just snacking around on uh, a little bit different than just chips all the time you can actually use it though if you want to uh, dip use it and dip it in whatever dip that happens to be at the event that you're at I'm going to show you or we're going to show you two different versions uh, two different flavorings but know that this is very versatile Today we're going to be using um, saltine crackers, the, the brand does not matter, saltine crackers for one of the recipes and the other recipe we're going to use a uh, mix of oyster crackers and goldfish crackers. Now on these recipes you can use the little round, the, um, the Ritz crackers or the store brand, whatever. You can use um, the small version of these crackers. You can use club crackers, but I think sometimes, uh, I really like club crackers, but I think sometimes they break a lot easier than what these do. Uh, you could put, you could probably put pretzels in the mix. You could do uh, a wide variety of things. And then when it comes down to the seasonings that we'll share with you in just a minute, those are versatile as well. Now we're gonna be showing you a ranch version a ranch and a red pepper flake version. Uh, fire, these will be these are firecrackers, southern firecrackers. Some people call them Alabama firecrackers. Now I'm from Arkansas, and if you uh, consider football, then you know Arkansas and and uh, Alabama are rivals. So I'm calling them firecrackers or southern firecrackers. The other version we're going to be making, we're going to use um, Old Bay seasoning and garlic. Uh, but I have seen people use chili, uh, chili seasoning, taco seasoning, Italian seasoning. It's just uh, whatever your preference is. And then you could also uh, take these crackers and go in a sweet direction uh, by adding a cinnamon and sugar or different applications to them and um, come up with something totally different. Okay, so the first recipe that we're going to get today is the, to the saltine crackers. And you actually need a Ziploc bag. And you're, huh, that's strange. I must, and we're going to, I'm sorry we didn't get these crackers open ahead of time. We have a little noise on our packaging. So we're going to um, get all of these crackers put in this gallon Ziploc bag. And uh, hopefully they all fit. Now you could use a container, like a Rubbermaid container with a lid. Uh, or you could use a big bowl and just and toss them, and then when they're done, put them in a bag. It's uh, yeah, there's not really any hard and fast rules on how to do this. Okay. Alrighty, so we have all the crackers in this one gallon bag, and they all fit. And so the next, and I guess an, another uh, reason, a good thing about using a Ziploc bag or a gallon. Uh, locked gallon storage bag is there's no dishes <laughs> okay so one box of crackers one cup of oil now I know this sounds horrendous and this is holiday and so uh, you can use uh, uh, any kind of vegetable oil uh, coconut oil um, uh, avocado oil. I don't like avocado oil. I don't like the taste of it. Um, you could use a sunflower oil. I wouldn't use olive oil. I know some people do. Um, I feel like it's a little bit too heavy on the crackers. Um, so anyway, one cup of oil and then, okay, Cheyenne is going to put two tablespoons of red pepper flakes. Now, if you can't take the heat, by all means, you can you know adjust that to your liking you can put one tablespoon you could probably leave it out if you don't want the heat uh, these are really really versatile 
but we like the heat around here. So, so we're going to put those two tablespoons of red pepper flakes. And then you're going to use one packet of um, dry ranch seasoning. Don't put ranch dressing that's already made, but ranch seasoning is one packet or three tablespoons. Uh, we buy it in bulk because she's such a uh, ranch dressing lady. When we don't have homemade ranch dressing seasoning, she keeps this on hand. And so we're going to put three tablespoons. And then we're going to mix this all up and we'll show you how easy it is. You, you want to for sure make sure you have it zipped because you will be a mess. You'll have oil everywhere. And you, you just just mix it all up every three or four or five minutes. You just come back in here and do it again. Now don't go like this because you're going to crunch up your crackers. But you're just, you know, tossing the bag over and over and over uh, gently. <laughs> That's the trick. If you need to practice your gentleness, this is probably the recipe for you. Because you have to be, gentle. you have to be gentle. You don't want to give it. I wouldn't give this to Blade and tell him to <laughs> toss this for me That's because <laughs> we would have cracker crumbs. But you know, you just come back ever so often and um, toss this all together. Now, I am a person that has an aversion to soggy things, and the very first time I ever had this recipe, what my sister made it. And I thought, there's no way I'm going to like that because they're going to taste oily, they're going to taste soggy, or they're going to feel soggy, and I'm just not going to like them. But they don't. They, they uh, come out uh, with a good flavor on them. Um, you want to make sure that you're kind of trying to fix it to where that, that oil and stuff is running towards the middle. And you're just going to toss and toss and toss it. Uh, it takes about... Mm, I don't know, every so often, just come back in and toss the bag a little bit. Uh, in about 30 minutes, I think they're done, especially if you get them, you know, good and penetrated. Uh, some people let them go overnight. Now, this is not a recipe that you're going to fix, and it's going to last for weeks and weeks and weeks because it has oil on it, and it's going to go rancid eventually. But if these last for any amount of time at all, um, I think that you'll enjoy them. And, uh, you know, we've got the uh, holidays, Christmas holiday. And my family on uh, Christmas Eve is more snack food, party food, that kind of stuff. And so this works in. It also works in for New Year's. It would be a good thing to have on game day. Um, and so that one, as far as making the recipe, is done. Now all we have to do is just toss it. Every uh, once in a while, come back in and toss it a little bit, and it'll be ready to go. I'm not saying like this, so the oil gets done in these. Okay. Get back up down here. I'm gonna go ahead and open this, and we need it oil and. Just looking at this. so for recipe number two we're going to use oyster crackers and I just bought a bag of uh, a nine ounce bag of oyster crackers and um, we're going to add goldfish to ours now if you were just doing a big just oyster crackers you would need two bags of oyster crackers for this recipe but we're going to do half goldfish now I bought these goldfish crackers thinking that my little grandson would love them and besides peaches, this is the only other thing that I have found that he does not like. He doesn't care for them. Now that he's getting teeth, he, it, he might change his mind. But for the longest time, he did not like them. And so we're going to make them into crackers. And we're going to put about, we're going to eyeball it. But I would say put about the same amount of, of uh, goldfish crackers as you would uh, yeah. the oyster crackers. And then we're going to make another savory cracker. So to that, Cheyenne is going to add um, three tablespoons of Old Bay seasoning. Now keep in mind, just like with the red pepper flakes, uh, you um, can adjust it and you can back off and not have as much seasoning. 
or you can put more. You could probably put this, and if you wanted them really hot, you could also add red pepper flakes. Um, and then we are going to add to that, we're going to add some garlic powder. Not, don't add garlic salt, make sure it's garlic powder. Okay. And she's gonna put about half of that. Okay. So about a teaspoon and a half of garlic powder. Um, and you, go ahead, hon. And you for sure, want, you wanna make sure that you have the powder, not the salt. That sounds like something that I would mess up and do. And then nobody would be able to eat it. Okay, and then to this, she's going to put about three-fourths of a cup of oil in this one instead of a cup of oil. Again, oh, it's oh it's just a vegetable oil. Um, I think that coconut oil would be really delicious, but Blade does not care for coconut. So I'm afraid of making something in him thinking that he can taste the coconut in it. That's how his daddy was with uh, sorry seed. If he didn't see it in the recipe, he would eat it. If he saw you put it in there... He would swear he could taste the, the, the um, sorry seed and um, that you had ruined the recipe, and he wouldn't even try it. So uh, I don't know how Blade would go with coconut oil, but I think it would be delicious. Sunflower oil, uh, just like the other crackers we made. I don't, I, my personal, uh, I wouldn't like avocado oil. Do you like avocado oil? I don't know that I ever even tried um, To me, avocado oil is just a really... Um, stronger flavor I uh, you know some of the oils I know that people have an aversion to to vegetable oils um, but the all the um, avocado oil I'm looking at it because I have a jar over there the avocado oil and the uh, some of the other heavier oils have a flavor that I just I don't really like but I don't mind sunflower oil and so I think that sunflower oil would be a good one um, too. I think that you could um, figure out a uh, recipe with using just about any kind of um, seasoning and have crackers. Uh, you could make taco crackers to go along with chili. You could probably make a chili cracker, chili and lime. Um, I was thinking, I, I saw a bottle of, what is it, what's this stuff I've got? Tahine, tahine, the, the lime. I think that would probably get, be good on a cracker to have like a cool dip, like some kind of dip with a sour cream base. I think that would be really delicious. Or maybe even a, a Mexican dip of some kind. And this is just going to be the same way. We'll do the same thing. Toss this back and forth. Uh, get these well coated. And I will have two different versions of, of crackers. Now, these would probably be harder to eat with a dip, obviously, because they're teeny tiny. Uh, but you could probably, after you have these, you could probably add nuts in with these, like peanuts or uh, probably, I, peanuts would probably be the only one, only nut that I would put in here. Maybe, maybe pecans, but pro peanuts would probably be good. The little pretzel rods, the little tiny ones, would probably be good in this mix. Um, but these are the base mixes, and hopefully you can um, come up with recipes that your family would like and that you would enjoy for game night, snack time, uh, some of your uh, Christmas Eve parties, New Year's parties. Okay, so we've got our two, our two versions here. Uh, they'll continue to set and continue to, to soak up all of the goodness and all of the uh, seasoning and all of the oils, all the stuff. This is what the firecrackers look like, and it'll continue to soak in and dry a little bit. Spicy. Want to try it? Um, but now these are really tasty. You can taste the ranch. You can taste the um, the red pepper flakes, but they're not so bad that they're so hot that you can't stand them. Um, um, you know, some people would probably want them a little bit hotter than what they are. Um, but I would just, uh, I, I like these how they are. Uh, they're, they're not going to burn your mouth off. They're not so hot they're going to blow the top of your head off. It's just uh, just a nice little spice. The ranch kind of is the main flavor, yeah. I think, don't you? I think the ranch is the main flavor. And you just get that little bit of heat in the back. 
but it just makes a nice compliment to go ahead, go along with all of, you know, you have so many sweet party foods and, and really rich party foods that these kind of, uh, kind of break up that a little bit and kind of help with, uh, uh, getting, maybe get cleansing the palate, maybe, I don't know if that's the right word, but anyway, uh, it's just something to take a little bit different path from all of the sweet stuff on the holidays. But I hope you give this recipe a try, that you enjoy it, and if you've got a different recipe, uh, or you add, or you make these crackers and you have a, a different kind of topping, something that you think we would enjoy, something that we uh, would like to try, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And until next time, guys, this is Josie and Cheyenne. I love you. I really do. Keep looking well to the ways of your household. And until next time, we're gone.